whatever the situation may be, but the drugs still get inside of these facilities. So banning it obviously hasn't worked. And once again, I'm not encouraging anybody out and go, to go out and do recreational drugs, but just banning it across the board has done nothing but just make the kind of prohibition movies we saw in times old of the old alcohol prohibition come to life in a very spectacular fashion. And now we have this in a completely other topic. Jesse Ventura, he's talking about Trump and Sanders, and he hopes that they pretty much destroyed their respective parties. Now, uh, Ventura, I, I do agree with him on this, because not so much about Trump or Sanders or any of these other guys, but these parties are so corrupt. They're so, not even corrupt, I think controlled is a much better way to put it. Because when we had the GOP debate, the first one with Trump, the highlight of that entire two hour, hour and a half, whatever it was, was when Trump said he's basically the guy who picks up the phone and tells people, you know, what you're going to do. So just because you went out and campaigned for somebody or you bought their collector's pay plates or whatever else, you think they're going to have your best interest at heart? No, if you're a small business owner and Trump picks up the phone and calls whoever he's been fun and says, hey, I need you to make this happen for me, you're not going to get what you need, even though that you campaign for this guy. So I just want people to be very aware of that. And now Ventura is putting it way out in the open, and I hope at least people will pay attention to what he has to say. So we'll go out to break with this clip, and we'll come back with more special reports. I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and you're watching the InfoWars Nightly News. People no longer trust the career politicians because they've screwed it up so bad. I loved listening to you talk to those other talking heads about Donald Trump could be the destruction of the whole Republican Party. I throw my hands up in the air and cheer. I hope it happens. And I hope Bernie Sanders is the destruction of the Democratic Party. Because I wrote the book Democrips and Rebloodlicans too. No more gangs in government. I remember it's that. time to break up the two-party dictatorship. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream media, never questioning what you are being told. This gives you a false sense of reality. I mean, do you actually know what you think you know? Or have you been programmed to accept someone else's version of events? Think about it. This is Darren McBreen, and I want you to break the matrix at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. And listen to The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on your mind. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, Com. See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably notice I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. 
This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. When you elect somebody, you would think that they have your best interest at heart, at least to the point where they would listen to what you have to say if you were there in person with them. I can tell you that is not the case in multiple instances, whether it's here at the Austin City Council, when I try to go see people at the uh, State House, any place else, a lot of times they say, no, we have no time to talk to you. And it's not just for me being a member of the media. We've seen many examples all across the country people being kicked out, if not arrested, from city council meetings, all manner of things as well. And now a friend of the show, Mike Hansen, a longtime collaborator with Alex Jones, was in Gonzales, Texas. And he goes to address them about pretty much the federalization, the militarization of the police. He talked a whopping 12 seconds over his allotted time and then was put into handcuffs. We're going to show you that video. And also we're going to show you a clip from Mike Hansen archives, which you guys can find on YouTube an old throwback from the vault of Alex. So we'll come back right after these two special reports. Mike Hansen. Good evening. We just had come and take it and uh, it was a big celebration downtown. Uh, the city always hangs their hat on this come and take it and they're very proud of the come and take it. Uh, the mayor is even promoting it down in Mexico and flying the flag on a boat down there in Mexico. Some say we did not like the Mexican government, uh, them in our business, stealing our personal property and this and that. That's why we fought and got our own local, local government. Okay, so that's why I'm here to tell you and the public and I'm gonna hold y'all personally responsible, Mayor, when something happens, when somebody gets killed or hurt, we're gonna hold you responsible after tonight because you're gonna be informed. We want to keep our local police officers, peace officers, and our sheriffs local, locally controlled. A lot of y'all didn't know, you're gonna find it very interesting that in the last year, our police department has been taken over by the ATF, the DEA, and God knows what else, because it's secret. 
you can't find anything out. You got newspapers here. You got two newspapers in Gonzales. You can't get a darn word out of them. This lady over here, you, she, she won't print the story because my name's associated with it. You got the other paper, that's the canon. The Gonzales Inquirer will not do it because she's scared to. She's scared of the ATF and the DEA. Well, I'm not. I confronted them the other day. We got unannounced people coming into town, secret, secret police. Uh, the police chief is denying that this is all going on. I put an open request act. You know about Jackie, you've denied it. Uh, they won't admit nothing. They're lying about it. You got black ski mask thugs running around, will not identify themselves whatsoever. They're stealing. They will not identify themselves. They're stealing people's personal property, their money, the cars. They call it SS Forford seizures. Then they're giving the police department some of it to feds. We need to stop this. They're killing our local dogs. They're breaking out windows and doors on private property. And they're putting guns to children's heads. They're, they're putting grenades in people's windows. And most of all, they're breaking the Texas Bill of Rights. Trying to get through this. We got eight people and we need more time. Uh, I confronted the ATF when they were in town. And we have it on, since we cannot get a damn thing out of these two newspapers, no stories in the last year on this, that the feds have taken over our government, our police. We cannot, we have to resort to putting this stuff on YouTube to get our own media out in this town because we have no time whatsoever. Thank you, Mr. Anson. Well, we have another person. I am, I'm not through. We got, we got other people through. signed up. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. We, do, we got eight people signed up. If you can't do your job, you need to get out. Mayor, you, you knew about this three months ago when I told you about the black ski mask. You said you would not. You said you would not. You said you would not do anything about it. You didn't care if they were doing this in our town. You told me on the phone. Yeah, I'm you're under arrest. No, I'm, I'm not going to be under arrest. Yes, you are. Try it. They don't want, they don't want, they do not want, they do not want this out in this town. That they've been, they, they, look at him. Look at him, what he's doing. What he ain't he's, been, he's been taken over by the feds and they know it. Make sure you get it all out. Here, take my notes and get it all out. We got, we, Jackie, already, you already said, Jackie, that we could have our time with eight people. Tell him right now before he, said, before he makes a mistake, he don't, he don't want to because he's going to get sued for false arrest. Each person is entitled. No, that's not what you just said. John the feds are taking over our town. Y'all better wake up. We want local. You don't understand that we want local control, and that's that's our local police. It's when they spray chemicals on us too, to harm us. See the chemtrails that's spraying up there in the sky. The face passing waves. Uh, I got all money in my wallet. Uh, so it's going to be Better get a hold of Jackie because she's going to know where it's going to come Chief Philippus, we really appreciate you taking out the time. A lot of public officials and public servants are afraid to uh, even talk to the public or the press about things like this. When did you first become aware that Delta Force, the most elite training force in America, is what the Pentagon says, wanted to train with actual live fire blanks here in San Antonio? Is that true? Yes, that's correct. That actually started probably, I want to say, back in February when they first approached us, maybe even earlier than that, about doing some operations, uh, you know, in the San Antonio area. What were your major reservations in asking the mayor to tell them that that, that, that y'all didn't want them to train here and to cease training here? Well, a lot of things happened. First of all, the organization came into the city and never really approached the city as a whole. We've gotten together with the mayor and said, we need to speak to all these different departments. Uh, and request some assistance. Um, various groups and individuals came into the city and approached different people at different levels. The police department was contacted, the city manager's office was contacted about using city facilities, various business owners were contacted through the economic development department, uh, the fire department was contacted by different individuals, and so there was never any coordinated uh, approach uh, to the city of San Antonio. Uh, when we found out that we had some reservations, but we were willing at least to listen. But then we started finding out that discussions were happening at other different levels 
and there was no, no communication, no coordination between that. We also found out that leases had been negotiated with private business people uh, throughout the city to utilize their vacant buildings. 